So we welcome Professor Mark Lewis, uh, CRC Canada Research Chair at the University of Alberta in Canada. And uh, he is here this week attending a, a workshop on the impact of uh, global change on diseases and, uh, and invasive species. Welcome. So the first question to you is, uh, can you say some more maybe about the, the workshop that you attended here during this week? Well, it's a very unusual workshop. Um, it uh, has people from all over a Africa and all over the world, and some of the brightest minds in African mathematics and uh, environment and uh, epidemiology. And it's a very diverse group. Um, and so we're talking about uh, mathematics and its interaction with the environment, uh, emerging diseases, um, threats like endangered species, and we're even delving into uh, some of the social aspects uh, that are to do with values. And these are, these are global values as well as being African values. And so there's a really good synergy here. There's a, a very broad crowd of people, uh, but there's a lot of excitement, um, some um, uh, very good interactions with the students. It's very exciting. And, and this will lead hopefully to collaboration between mathematical modelers within the continent of Africa here and maybe modelers from outside Africa and maybe uh, scientists working on forestry and other application areas, right? Absolutely, yeah. I'm, I'm personally making some very strong connections here with the Invasion Biology Group, um, Stellenbosch, um, and uh, I can see all these different uh, connections being built up uh, that wouldn't have otherwise happened. So um, I think this is part of what AIMS is about. Absolutely. So the second thing also, this is your first time I understand to AIMS, the Africa Institute of Mathematical Sciences, an initiative of new Turok started here in 2004. And I would like you to share with us I mean, some of your experiences coming to AIMS. Well, it's a wonderful place. I mean, it's this incredibly beautiful location, um, just a half a block from the ocean on this incredible beach and um, uh, a beautiful building. It's quite old, um, and it's got this uh, sense of history of uh, being a premier mathematical institution um, in Africa uh, with a long and beautiful history and support from um, African uh, sources. Um, so it's a real honor to be here. Um, and I'm enjoying very much uh, meeting people from um, uh, places from all over Africa, having some really good conversations over breakfast and lunch, uh, people working on things I had no idea were even going on. So it's been very rewarding for me personally. And um, I see my goal here is to be able to share some of my research ideas and, and to help uh, interact and facilitate interactions. So one of the things uh, AIMS is very well known for is empowerment of young people. Uh, AIMS is, is a pan-African initiative, um, so with student, talented students chosen from across Africa. Have you had a chance to interact with some of the AIMS students, and if yes, what was your impression of them so far? Yes, I have. Uh, sometimes just one-on-one -on -one conversations about research and new research insights. I found those very rewarding. Also within the uh, lectures, uh, there is this really good uh, discussion and question period, uh, a lot of really uh, uh, great insights coming from the students as well as the more senior people. So the whole dynamic is very uh, positive and it's something I'm um, going to be uh, enjoying for a long time. So uh, coming from Canada, one of the things that I would like to say to, uh, to you in particular is that the Canadian government actually helped in supporting AIMS by donating $20 million during the time of Prime Minister Stephen Harper. Uh, to, the idea is to replicate AIMS in other nodes within Africa. So right now, as a result of the funding from Canada and other places, we have nodes in, 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 in Ghana, in Cameroon, in Tanzania, and in uh, one other place that I can't remember now. Anyway, so I just want to, to let you know of that. Senegal, yes. So the last one is in Senegal. So uh, I just want you to, to, to acknowledge the importance of uh, the contribution from Canada in making sure that we are able to replicate what is happening in Mizumbak to some other places in Africa. So. Yeah, I, I was very happy to hear that. I, uh, before I came here, I wasn't aware of that Canadian support, and I'm very happy that Canada has put their weight behind it. And um, if this model that's working so well here is replicated in different places in Africa, then it'll be a truly wonderful thing. 
Thank you so much. Thank you for flying all the way from Edmonton to here. And we look forward to having you here again in Musenberg and in some other notes of it. Thank you so much. It's for my pleasure. Thank you.